Hello, welcome to Learning ASP.NET Core. This is Madan. Today I'm going to talk about policy and claim based authentication in ASP.NET Core. And this demo is based on our previous demo on authentication and authorization in ASP.NET Core. So I highly recommend you to watch that video and then come back to this so that you will uh, see how things are going on in details. So in the previous demo, I have added a couple of things here. I have added a new claim button and view claim button here. So uh, if we go to the new claim from here, we can create a new claim claim and claim is something the user has for example if the user has the age um, uh, age whose value is 18 then that is the claim for the user so if a user has experience uh, and uh, so if user has experience of five years then experience is the claim of the user the claim that the user have and we can create the claim from here and uh, so let's say we have we can say we can type age to the claim type and then let's say we can give a value of 10 here so similarly we can view the mm, uh, claims here so i have created a three claims here experience which has a value of experience age which has a value of 18 and age which has a value of 15 and then if we go back to our main page of the user role management then i have assign two button to the user so add claim and the view claims so from here we can assign claim to the user and view their claims so if i go to the uh, go to this user and click on view claim then this user which is met at the red gmail.com has a claim type of age whose value is 15 similarly if we go back and click on the view claims of the user jack at the red gmail.com then he has a two claims uh, uh, one is the experience and whose value is experience yourself and another one is the age and its value is 18 here similarly we can assign the new claim claims to the user and that claims appears on the right hand side so with this we can authenticate we can authorize user based on something they have and in order to use claim based authentication we can bring in the policy and uh, each policy requires us to provide the claim or the authorization requirements so if you want to learn more about the policy based authorization then you can head over to this documentation and this documentation explains uh, policy based authorization and how we can use that in very detail so policy based it is an advanced authentication authorization system that is available in asp.net code so let's jump into the code and then here if we go to the our home controller then i have created a two action here boat action and then disco axis action and uh, the boat action uh, is uh, accessible only to the user which has a policy of voting policy and this disco is only accessible to those users uh, who have assigned the policy of disco axis now we can define those policies in our startup.cs file so if i go over to this then here i have added uh, two policies uh, and passed that uh, into the um, options of the ad authorization service here so we can create options that add policy and voting policy and this voting policy requires experience claim so this uh, whenever we create a policy <coughs> we need to pass the claim or the uh, authorization requirement that is defined in asp.net core identity so this voting policy is based on the uh, has a, a claim of experience similarly we can pass the multiple claims here by doing comma separation here but uh, for the simplicity of this demo let's give only one claim here and another policy display axis uh, is not using claim directly but uh, it has the authorization requirement of main minimum age requirement 18 that means and the display axis can only be granted to the person which has a age of uh, minimum age of 18 so here in order to create the authorization requirement i have created a two class here you can see on the right hand side minimum age handler and minimum age requirement so if i go to the minimum age requirement that this is a simple class that uh, um, uh, implements i authorization requirement and uh, i have defined a property here called minimum age and uh, uh, i am setting the value of this minimum age from the constructor of this class and we are using this class from the um, our minimum age handler class so in the minimum age handler this is also a plain csr class that uh, uh, inherits authorization handler and it is generic type and we can pass our requirement here so minimum age requirement that we created here i have passed that minimum age requirement here and uh, we need to override a method called handle requirement async and this has a uh, two incoming parameters here context of authorization handler context and the our minimum age requirement itself 
so this uh, context uh, gives us the information about the claims the user has and from this context uh, we can get the claims of the user so here i have created a variable called claim and then we have used the context dot user dot find first and the age so what this does is uh, this brings in the claim that we have assigned to the user so we have assigned the age claim to the user here from our uh, demo so in if we go over to the jack at the red gmail dot com and view the claims then jack has a claim of uh, claim type of age whose value is 18 so what this minimum age requirement uh, handler does is it uh, brings the uh, age claim from the database so identity framework creates the table called claims in the database and that is uh, whenever we create a new claim that claim is gonna store into that table and whenever we assign that claim that is also a claim to the specific user that is also gonna uh, store in the database and we are accessing that claim from the user uh, by using this context incoming parameter which is a type authorization handler context and here is a simple check if claim is not equal to age then we are going to get the value of that age so i am going to convert that into the uh, integer since the claim uh, value is of type uh, string and we need to convert that into the age and here i have compared the age with the uh, age if age is greater than or equal to requirement dot minimum age so that requirement dot minimum age is coming from the minimum age requirement and that value is uh, finally coming from this parameter here so we have set this value of 18 and that 18 value comes in here so if the value of the claim that is assigned to the user is greater than or equal to the minimum age that we have specified in our policy then what we are gonna do is we are going to uh, return the completed task with the succeeded information so and this only allows the person who has a claim value of age and uh, who have a claim value of claim type of age and value of 18 so disco access is only um, uh, granted to the user who is uh, to whom we have assigned the claim of uh, type age with the value of 18 so this home controller here disco access no person can access this action if they have not assigned the claim of age with the value greater than or equal to 18 so uh, it is very straightforward to create a policy here we can create a policy from our startup.cs file and then we can assign either claim uh, either a single claim or the multiple claim by giving comma or we can assign the um, authorization requirement here so this is quite advanced concept and we can authorize the user based on how we want them to authorize and then finally we need to add this service here i authorization handler and then minimum age handler uh, that the class we created here after that uh, let's uh, save this so this is all and uh, with the claim based authentication let's test our application so let's uh, test our voting policy and then the disk access policy so if we go over to the user um, jack then he has both claims of experience and age so what menu can be accessible to the user who has a claim of experience and uh, uh, we have a claim of experience since we have told that here in the uh, authorization option here so and uh, another action called display access is accessible to the user who has a minimum age requirement of uh, 18 that is specified by the claim here so here jack has experience uh, claim type of experience and age uh, claim type whose value is 18 that means the uh, boat action and uh, open club action is both should be both accessible to the jack but we are currently logged in as a mat user so let's see the claims of the mat here so if we go over to the main page and then if we click uh, view claims of the mat then mat has a claim whose value is 15 and it has a claim type of age that means he has not uh, assigned the claim of experience so he cannot access the boat link and he has a claim of type age but its value is 15 so he cannot open the club door but let's log in by using the another user
and then now Jack has both the uh, claim type of experience and the uh, minimum authorization requirement with the claim of claim type of age which has a value of 18 so he can access the club and board so this is quite advanced concept and we can customize authorization based on our requirement so the other thing here is a uh, uh if you want to know how i assign how i create a claim and uh, assign that claim to the uh, user in our system then we are going we are assigning the claim from here so we have a two option here select claim and then we assign that to the particular user so here i have created a claim controller here and uh, it is also quite straightforward and i have injected the uh, user manager which is of type identity user and uh, in order to get the all the claims that are stored in the system we need to do context dot claims dot to list and this gives us all the claims and uh, in the index view in the index view of the claim controller i have displayed uh, those values or the claims by using the model of claim and then it a claim has uh, uh, two parameters two properties claim type and the claim value so if we go over to the claim controller and then let's inspect that claim so if i go to the definition here go to definition then this is a claim model that i have created in our models claim and it has a uh, three properties claim type claim value and the id here and if we go over to our uh, application db context here data dot application db context then i have stored assigned that um, uh, model as a database class table into the application db context so you need to run the migration generate the migration and update the database by using this after doing this and then in the new action i have passed the new claim here and then if we go over to the new view go to view then here we have a two model we have a two fields here claim type and then claim claim value so this is the form that is coming here that is appearing here claim type and claim value and we create that so if we go again to the claim controller then in the post method of the new action we save that into the uh, claims table of the database and uh, here i have uh, converted that claim value to the string because uh, uh, it is the type string here and then in order to assign the claim to the user uh, i have <coughs> selected all the claims from the database so this uh, context.claims.to list is same as what we did in the index action so this gets all the claims from the database table and i have slightly modified the result that is coming from the table so i have created a string here claim type and uh, this has this uh, is this will be displayed as type equal to claim type and value equal to value so whenever we click we go to the uh, add claim then if we click on this then we see this type equal to claim type and value equal to value of the claim here so if we go to, and then i have passed that information into the view bag and then i have also created uh, access the user um, from the user id that is coming from the view so whenever we click on this uh, add claim then we are passing the user id as you can see in the link uh, uh, on the lower left corner of the screen here so this link is passing the user id as a parameter and then i am using this user id to face the user currently logged in user and then uh, to fetch the user from the database and i am also passing that as a view back and if we go over to this view go to view then this view since uh, I have passed the list of the claims into this view from the controller so if we go over and then if we see then we have passed the user claims so uh, we are uh, getting all the claims from the user based on the uh, from the database based on this user so here what I have done is I have created a variable user claims and then we get all the claims that are associated with that user so user claims and uh, so whenever we click on add claim then those claims are displayed here so 
in order to display those claims uh, i have set the model of the view assign claim to the user to the system.security.claims.claims so this is not our model that i created here but this is the one that is provided by identity framework and we have created two fields here i have hidden i have created a hidden field that stores the user id and then the i have created a select list based on the viewback.claims value and on the another view i have displayed all the claims those are associated with the users by using this model so this code uh, is also available in the github and you can find the link for that code in the description and then once the user uh, selects the appropriate claim and then click on the save then those data are posted back to the assigned claim to the user and the values that are coming from that view is user id and the claim id and once we get those information we can find the user from the user id and we can find the claim from the claim id and user manager has a method called add claim async and in that add claim async we need to pass the user and we need to create the object of the claim uh, which is provided by the identity framework and we need to pass our claim type and the claim value that are uh, available in this claim here so with this this assign claim to the user and similarly we can remove claim to the user and in order to remove the claim we need uh, user id claim type and the claim value and uh, from user id i'm fetching the user from the database and user manager has a remove claim async method and uh, we need to pass the user and claim the and create the type of the claim object and pass that to this function and that removes the claim from the user similarly i have created another action here to delete the claim that is the claim that is stored that um, that are stored in our claims table that we created ourselves so in this way we can uh, manage or we can uh, create advanced authentication based on the policy and claims available in asp.net core mbc so this is it for now friends and if you like this video then please don't forget to share and subscribe thanks for watching and have a great day